It started early and they moved fast. It was expected, but unexpected because it was pretty freaking early. Streets were blocked, dump trucks moved in, and people living in the encampment had to clear out. What was left behind, trashed. Cressy Poirier has been living here for two years. Make sure that it's all clean, make sure that there's a pathway for the people, the elders. So they left us alone and until today. The city said it had to clear two city blocks, an estimated 80 structures, down from 180 at its peak in the summer when the fire chief first called for their removal. This year alone, we have had reported 16 tent fires in that area. Local businesses have been damaged, resulting in fires and numerous explosions, which make it dangerous for anybody walking down that street. A danger felt by some living nearby. I've been assaulted twice, just trying to come home from grocery shopping, going through my front door. I had a guy come after me with a hatchet. Crews made quick progress, flanked by police. And that's what we're doing down here is surviving because that's all we can do because there's nothing left for us. Until tensions grew this afternoon as advocates tried to slow the process. The street was eventually cleared, but the question all day no one could really answer, where would everyone go? All they're required to do is give them a card to go to housing. We have no housing. There is no housing. A fact the city acknowledged. And the odds of us being able to provide 100 shelter spaces today, we couldn't commit to that. And it's a fact those here know too well. Smarten up, quit wasting money. Like, get us a home. Where are you going to go? I uh, probably out back. I wait a day or two and I'll come right back. Susanna De Silva is on the downtown east side now. Susie, what's happening there at this point? Well, I need to work here at Maine and Cordova. And so city crews actually continued down Hastings Street and then turned down Maine. So we're actually near the uh, old police headquarters here. And they are continuing. You see all the city crews are still here. The dump trucks, all the trucks, they have continued to make their efforts to clean off the streets as they made their way down to Main Street. They're all stopped right now. There's still one of the tents uh, on the sidewalk here, uh, believed to be a resident inside there. Uh, as they are trying to get all of these structures off. There are still also a number of advocates who are here who are opposed to the efforts by the city and by the police today who are here trying to make a stand because they don't believe what the city is doing right now. Now, I did also walk up Hastings just a moment ago, uh, and the street is clear of structures, but a lot of people who've moved back, the open marketplace uh, along Hastings is back. There are still uh, some structures, uh, some people who didn't completely clear the area that are still there, uh, but the efforts here continue on Main Street. Susanna De Silva on the downtown east side tonight. Thank you.